All right, so we are recording, and for this uh, for this problem, I think we're going to do the the second one down, convert minutes into seconds. Yesterday we did return the sum of two numbers, and then I had to leave the apartment. Um, I wanted to do more of these yesterday, but uh, anyways, we're going to play around with these. I don't know if we're slowly going to work our way down the list. Um, you can see the ones I've already completed, uh, but eventually. I would like to start doing some of the problems that I haven't completed um, and film those for you guys. And yeah, I mean, I, I can go about this multiple ways. I just don't want to get bored with the, the really easy problems I've already completed. So I'm not too sure if, you know, we're going to go in order or if we're going to bounce around here. But today we're going to just keep going down the list and we're going to do convert minutes into seconds, which is the second. Uh, very easy JavaScript problem on Edabit. So let's go. Without further ado, um, our instructions are to write a function that takes an integer minutes and converts it to seconds. So if it's five uh, minutes, they want you to convert that to seconds. So it would be five times 60, which would give you 300. Um, if it's three minutes, they want you to convert that uh, to seconds, so three times 60 gives you 300. This is going to be very similar to the problem that we had yesterday. Um, and it's really just a matter of knowing your, your operators. So yesterday we did the, the sum two numbers problem, and in that case we just used the plus sign. Everybody's familiar with the plus sign. In this case, the operator is going to be multiplication. So we will use the multiplication operator. Um, uh, let's see, so for this there are multiple different ways that we could write out this uh, function. The easiest way and the way that uh, comes to mind first is just to say return minutes times 60 and this is going to give you uh, the amount of seconds uh, per that amount of minutes. I'm going to apologize again for having the volume loud. Uh, I forgot that yesterday too, so I am sorry. Um, so yeah, you know that's that's one way we can go about this, and it doesn't matter that minutes comes first. Minutes could come later. You could do times minutes, and this would still work. Um, another thing is depending on how this test is written, you should be able to change your parameter here um, to just say m if you wanted to. If you wanted to shorten this up, uh, you could. Um, you know, you, you type a little less, it looks a little more clean, but it's less readable. Um, for me, I would leave it as minutes because then whenever you're looking at your code later on in the future, you know uh, that you're actually, you know, working with minutes here. You might forget what the variable m uh, was intended to represent. Um, so I mentioned a word here, I mentioned that this is a parameter, right? And your parameter is always going to be in the, the function definition. What's passed in is your is your arguments. So whatever the user inputs for minutes is going to that's in a that's going to be an argument that's passed into that parameter that minute uh, parameter. Um, in this case, we don't have a user, so the computer is just passing in uh, different values into this minutes um, parameter here, and then timesing it by 60 to get the number of seconds. So another way we can write this to make it uh, look a little bit more clean is we could do convert minutes arrow function and then just 60 times minutes and this will look a little bit more clean. Um, it's a little less readable for maybe beginner programmers but it is a more clean simple way to, to do this problem. Um, again, you can name this anything. It doesn't have to say convert. It could say uh, turn to seconds and then you would turn minutes into seconds. But sometimes the test on Edabit wants you to uh, leave the original name of the function. Um, another way we could write this um, is to just say return and then add another curly bracket and this too would work. So the, there are different ways you can play with the syntax here. Um, but yeah, that's a, that's a few ways that you can, uh, you can solve this problem. It's also a really 
cool. You wouldn't really do this in a um, programming challenge site, but if you're writing your own co code, you know it's handy to, to comment what that code does. Turn, and in this case, turn minutes into seconds. Um, you could add that little note. And then you could say, because we are starting a timer, you know, maybe you're writing an app that, that utilizes a timer. Um, but anytime you can add comments uh, into your code to just kind of let you know in the future what that code was written for and to let anyone else know uh, that you may be working with, uh, that's always wise. So anyways, guys, that was, uh, that was the second challenge on Edabit, convert minutes into seconds using JavaScript. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll move on to the next challenge.